Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on finding a tangent line with, without using derivatives. Derivative is a powerful tool. In the lack of it, we're going to find a tangent line to the circle, obviously, here because the adding sign here we have a circle and the center of the circle is when you set this one equal to zero x minus two equal to zero so we have x equal to two and similarly y equal to three so two and three so one two and three over here we have a radius of radical 13 which uh calculating on my calculator here i don't know what a radical 13 is roughly 3.6 so we have a little circle go under over here a little bit so here we are and we're giving a point of 5, 1. We're looking for this tangent line. Let's call it tangent line. Let's call it L, lack of better words. All right, so without a tangent, without the calculus, what we're going to have to do is actually find the perpendicular line, which happened to be, a, let's call it a P. Once we find a tangent, the line for the perpendicular, what we can do is then use little tricks here and there, find the equation for line L. Let's get started. The center of the circle is at 2 and 3. We're given the tangent point P, let's call it Q. We're running out of alphabets here. Q at 5 and 1. So given those two, the slope is changing in y over changing in x, which is pretty easy to calculate. So I'm going to have 3 minus 1 and 2 minus 5. So basically, I took the difference between y and difference between x. And here, I have a minus 2 over 3. If two lines are perpendicular, then their slope when you multiply them, it's equal to minus 1. I don't know how many students lost the points on this minus sign, so hopefully you won't be one of them. For the perpendicular, for the line P here, we have minus 2 over 3. Line of the tangent line, we don't know, minus 1. Solving this equation quickly gives you slope of, uh, let's see, what do we have? 3 over 2. So basically, it's a negative reciprocal. All right, math break. Let's have a little some fun. Got a funny thing here. Do dogs know calculus? I think so. All right, back to math. So here's the slope, and we have a point, 5, 1, on the line, L, that we're looking for. So from here, we can use y equal to mx plus b, or if you want, you can copy that little formula. Um, I personally don't like students use formula because chances are on the test, you'll forget it, and then you're stuck. So let's just use y equal to mx plus b. We're given that point of 5, 1, which is saying when x equal to 5, y is equal to 1. Well, let's use that. So when y equal to 1 here, and I have a slope of 3 over 2, x is a 5, and the plus b. And from here, I find out b is negative 13 over 2. Now, I didn't just solve this one. I actually solved it ahead of time. So it may look like I'm doing faster than I actually am. So when you're solving this one on the test, make sure you actually slow down, because slow is fast. The reason is you don't lose as many points. OK, so now given the slope and given the y-intercept, we have this equation. I have 3 over 2 x and then minus 13 over 2. And that's the equation for my tangent line. So with that calculus, yes, we can find the tangent line. It's a little more complicated and a little messier. But it's no big deal. So we'll find a center. We'll find it the line that's perpendicular to it. And we're using the trick that the product is minus 1. And then the third step is point slope form.
All right, I hope this one is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.